Hey, this is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here at a project that my company is just finishing up. We've been working with Nick Deaver Architects here in Austin, Texas. And as you can see, the house is looking amazing. This is a La Habra Smooth Stucco, which is really our favorite. So this is not a painted stucco, but the final coat has an integral color on it. So it's absolutely beautiful. It really has that mottled texture. The purpose of today's video though, is I wanna to talk to you about what's behind the stucco. This is the first install that I've ever done of a ventilated stucco. If you've seen my other cladding videos where I talk about reservoir claddings, you know that any cementitious or rock or brick product that's on the outside of a house is gonna soak up moisture. And we really want that moisture to be able to get away from that cladding without hurting the house. So let me rewind time a little bit and I'm gonna show you on the mock-up what we did behind this to achieve a ventilated uh, stucco. We're gonna be talking specifically today about Casella Dorkin's Delta Dry Stucco and Stone product. All right, we're back. Now that the, the uh, weather resistive barrier is fully completed, what got me excited about uh, Casella and Dorkin products to begin with is what we're showing here. This is Delta Dry Stucco and Stone. This is basically a dimple mat product that's gonna go up against our WRB. It's gonna provide a drainage plane um, behind our stucco and stone. But here's the cool part about it. They've adhered this fabric membrane to one side, and so we're not gonna put traditional felt paper on. We're actually gonna put our scratch coat right over top of this. And then this product here is, is some type of plastic looking membrane that's gonna provide an air gap both behind the stucco and behind our WRB. The cool thing about this is, especially in Texas, where we're in a hot, humid climate, we're air conditioning our houses 90% of the time, we really wanna be very cautious about solar-driven moisture, especially with a reservoir cladding. A reservoir cladding meaning a cementitious product on the outside. Brick, stone, stucco, those claddings hold water. And so this is a zero perm product that's gonna have a vent space behind that stucco. So now at 4 a.m. when my sprinklers go off and wet my stucco, and the sun comes up then at 10 and that stucco is soaked, it's not gonna be able to drive that moisture to the inside of the house. Of course, there'll be some amount that will get through there, but not nearly as much now that I've got the zero perm product and I've got a nice 3 8 inch air gap, 10 millimeters behind here so that I've got drainage and airflow behind my stucco and then behind my WRB. That Here's the stucco contractor rolling it out. It goes on really easily, just like any other rolled product. It just needs tacked in place, of course, until the metal lath goes on. And here's the scratch coat going on. Notice that there is no black paper on the back side of the scratch coat. That filter fabric that's on there is really preventing the pores from getting clogged behind there. So really this vented stucco assembly is really easy with this product. Very, very right, impressive. The house is complete now. You can see how beautiful it turned out. That's some exterior cedar siding we used. The architectural steel in between these Anderson 100s, boy, that just makes for a beautiful window. The architect, Nick Deaver, did an amazing job. But here's the star of this video. That smooth integral color stucco is just so pretty because of that mottled look. But again, it's this is a poor product if you look at the bottom two feet or so you can see how much darker that is we just finished power washing this back porch and that stucco has soaked up a ton of water that's the same thing that would happen on splashback on a, on a rain event or if your sprinklers are hitting the house which happens all over Texas and and really the southern US so this is best practice now because now this reservoir cladding is going to be able to dry to the back side or the front side here's the air gap that we put underneath here so now that uh, Delta Dry Stucco and Stone has an air gap at the bottom. We also provided an air gap at the top. We've got a stucco soffit here. This is dense glass gold with a stove finish on it to produce a smooth stucco soffit. And you can see we've got a nice big airflow grate right there with that nice uh, punched aluminum. We've got the same thing on the front side of the soffit. So now this stucco has a way for air to flow in and out. This is really best practice for stucco. If you'd like more information on any of these Casella Dorkin products or best practices for stucco, please visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. I'd also love you to have to check out our uh, Reisinger Homes Facebook page or my Twitter handle, which will be over here somewhere. Thanks for joining everybody. We'll see you next time.